hello friends today we are making this nice and easy top it's a beginner friendly step-by-step -step tutorial that anyone can make it easily I will show you how to make it for the young ones small size and medium size I hope you will like it so let's start the video I have 2.5 mm hook size we will make slip knot chain 15 1 two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen chain fifteen this is our first chain in the first chain we make two double crochet chain one and two more double crochet in the same chain in the same chain one two double crochet chain one and make two more double crochet in the same chain one this it will be top of it then we will hook on this chain one and now we will work chain on chain we will make double crochet in each loop and we will keep the yarn inside this is our first loop make double crochet one two four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, and thirty. Like this. Chain two and Turn your work again, start to make double crochet, chain on chain, 
like this one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Fourteen double crochet. Now we have a middle chain, and this time we will make three double crochet in this middle chain one two and three at this round we have a one two three double crochet in this middle chain now one and two we will hook on for the next round on the middle chain now start to make double crochet again and work chain on chain this is the second one One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have 15 double crochet at this side. Now again chain 2, turn your work and let's write this from the front side and this is the back side of your work. Again, we are going to make double crochet. This is our first chain, and here we make double crochet one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Und nein. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen double crochet. This is our middle chain. Again, we will make three double crochet in the same chain. One. Two and three. Three double crochet in the same chain and we will hook on in the middle chain. Again, start to make double crochet at this side. One. Two, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It. Now chain two, turn your work, start to make double crochet again. This is our first chain, and this is our first double crochet. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen double crochet. This is the middle loop and we will make three double crochet in the same chain. One, two and three. Three double crochet in the middle. We will hook on again and start to make a double crochet at this side again one two three four five six 
this. So then eight. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Double crochet this side. Now chain two and turn. This is our first chain and first double crochet one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen double crochet. And the top of the hook we will make three double crochet on the top in the same chain two and three hook in the second chain start to make a double crochet again one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Sixteen double crochet at this side. If you want to make it for young ones, I think these five rounds will be okay for them. You can try it once. If it fits, then. You can make two parts of it and follow the next steps. For a small size, go for round six. It's one, two, three, four, five. Five rounds for young ones and six rounds for small size.
you can check it on and when you are comfortable then you are ready for the next step chain two and turn your work again start to make double crochet one two three four five six seven eight Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. middle again we will make three double crochet one two and make three double crochet and hook on second chain again start to make double crochet one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Double crochet. Seventeen double crochet. We have this side at, at this side down here we have two chains in total we have 16 double crochet with two chains we count it as 17 now it is getting shape looks nice and curvy chain two this chain two will count as a double crochet chain here. The double crochet is our first double crochet, second, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, 
11 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 double crochet down here we have a uh, two chains with it it's uh, 18 18 chains we have yeah. so mm, it's a top chain and then we'll make a three double crochet in the same chain again one two and three double crochet hook on second chain on the top this is the top chain now start to make double crochet One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 16 and 17 double crochet this side we have a 17 double crochet now we have a nice and curvy cup We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I am going to finish it on round seven. If you want a more cover, then you can go for one more round. It's perfectly fine. And after that, you can follow the next step. I will measure it. From the downside, it is around six inches, or um, fifteen centimeter. If you are using thick yarn or uh, large hook size, so the measurement could be different. It's just perfectly fine. You can just increase or decrease the rounds according to your body size five rounds will be enough for the young ones six rounds for the small size seven or eight rounds for the medium size you can check it once when you're comfortable then you are ready for the next step so now i'm finishing it on the seventh round you just need to chain one pull the yarn
and follow the same steps and make a second part of it. This is the first part, this is the second part of it. This is the back side and this is the right side of your work. Same you will make same two parts. This is the right side of your work. It's a second part of it. Now chain six. And connect it with the first one. You will connect it with a slip stitch. Make sure the both sides are on the right side of your work. Make slip stitch. Connect it together with slip stitch, chain one and lock. Cut your yarn. Now fix this yarn at the back side of your work between these two chains. Pull the yarn at the back side, fix it once more time. Like this. Now we are going to make shell stitch around it. We start from here. Make sure it, sure it is the right side of your work. Take your yarn. This is the first chain. Pull your yarn inside. Keep it here and we will work with the chains here with the extra yarn chain one and tight now make five double crochet in third chain this is our first second and third chain keep the yarn inside and to make five double crochet in one chain One, two, three, four, and five. Five double crochet. Now make slip stitch in next third chain make slip stitch keep your yarn here together and make slip stitch we will make another shell stitch in third chain make five double crochet in one chain again So again slip stitch 
and one, two, three, third chain, five double crochet in next third chain. At this point, sometimes we find the one or two chains more and less it's just perfectly fine you can adjust it here in between three in between three shells so at this side we will make three shells and one shell we will make on the top of it this is the last double crochet and we will complete our shell stitch i will show you how to make single crochet here as well single crochet you can make single crochet or you can just make slip stitch it is up to you now the next one is coming one two and three this is our top three stitches and we are going to make shell stitch here on the top i'm going to make five double crochet in one chain so five double crochet it is on the top now we are coming down here then next third chain make slip stitch and one two three make shell stitch in next third chain This is the fifth one. One, two, three. Slip stitch. And third chain. And one, two, three. Shell stitch. And third chain. Make five double crochet. this is the fifth one another slip stitch in third chain another five double crochet in third chain one two three four and five five double crochet this is our top chain now we have a one two three shell stitches down here this is third last shell stitch so here at the first we will make a slip stitch down here and keep it little tight now in the middle chain we will make a shell stitch make five double crochet in the middle make sure this is the right side of your work make five double crochet in the middle this is the fifth and the last one and now here at the end we will make another slip stitch 
So. Here in the middle, we have a one shell stitch. When we are making the down shell stitches, then here in the middle, we will become another shell stitch. We are going to make another shell stitch. Here we have one, two, and three chains. Make another shell stitch. If you have a chain problems, like you have a one or two more or less chains, so you can easily adjust it in between one two three slip stitch one third chain one two three shell stitch and on the other third chain at the other side we have a um, three shell stitches so we will make the same at this side as well follow the same steps i will show on the top of it this is the top shell stitch it is same as it is up here we have a top stitch two three shell stitches one stitch in the middle one two three at this side at this side we have one two three shell stitches so now you adjust and make a three more shell stitches still down here if you have a one or two chains more in less then you can adjust it in between This is the top one, this is the third one. I have one chain less here. I just adjust it in between. So now make last slip stitch here and start to work down here. Here we are going to make a here we are going to make a first shell stitch down here one two three four and double crochet now we will make slip stitch here in between lines of double crochet this is the line going to make slip stitch like this the next one we will make here another shell stitch in between of single crochet lines make one shell stitch and another line make one slip stitch like this here we have our shell stitch in the next line we are going to make a slip stitch and in another line we are going to make a 
chain stitch one chain or one line and in this line we are going to make a slip stitch make a shell stitch slip stitch another shell stitch slip stitch shell stitch slip stitch i meet you in the middle now down here i have one two three four five six seven shell stitches and now we reached the middle we will make slip stitch at this place we'll make slip stitch and now make shell stitch here in this middle chain make five double crochet in this loop this is the third one fourth and fifth so down here now we have double shell stitches and make slip stitch down here we have made slip stitch at this point and here we will make another slip stitch like this so we will make shell stitch with this loop keep it little tight shell stitch this is the fifth one and make slip stitch like this seven shell stitches we have at this side one shell stitch in between and now we are going to finish our seven shell stitches at this side i'll meet you in the end now it's ready at any point if you have a chain problems so there is no problem you just uh, manage it in between so it's perfectly fine now this is the last one we we'll make slip stitch at our first point we are going to make a chains keep it little tight we now start to make chains like this make what body types are different you can chain as long as you need according to your body size make 100 or 120 chains i meet you at the end of it i'm working on a two projects but I will show you how to make chains here on the top at this point and at this point as well. I have chained 100 
you can chain 100 or 120 now we are going to make six double crochet in third chain make six double crochet one in the same chain two Four, five, and six, double crochet like this, chain two, make slip stitch up here and chain one and lock cut the yarn and we will fix it this is the right side and this is the back side we're going to fix it at the back side this is two chains in between these two chains i'm going to fix the yarn like this fix the yarn at the back side of your arc like this cut the extra we're going to make a chain at the other side as well this is the right side of your work same as the other side we're going to chain 100 at this side as well this is the upper part this is the down part of it in between we have a chain pull your yarn in between the chain Keep the yarn, we will fix it inside. We'll keep it tight. The first chain should be tight enough. Now we are going to chain 100 or 120 at this side as well. Like this. Chain same as the other side and make the same ends i will show you how to fix it should be nice and secure we don't want it to be loosed at any point so it should be fixed and tight enough that doesn't lose so one two and this is the third part that we are going to fix it well like this keep it nice and tight and fix it inside with the help of the needle in the back side of your work the both sides are ready now I like to show you how to chain here on the top side this is our five double crochet one two and three this is the third chain pull your yarn we will keep this yarn tied it again at the back side of course you don't want it get opened so have to tie it three four times nicely like this start to make a chain chain 100 or 120 at this side as well this is the back side of our work we will secure it two three times Secure it nice and tightly that it could not open. Fix the extra yarn with the help of the needle at the back side of your work. 
If you like it, like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos, visit my playlist, Karoche Tutorials. Till the next video, bye.